Here we go. Gage Reno going through here. We got lots of road surface hazards. See all those rocks? Slowing it down before the turn. Ooh, ABS kicked in. Oh, all that rear tire traction loss. That is the luckiest rider we're probably going to see today. Yeah. Let's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's take a quick look at what happened here. So we're going pretty fast. Okay, we're going pretty fast. And now we're starting to slow down. We couldn't see around the corner. It's probably going downhill. It's a lot easier to mess up going downhill. It's like you don't even recognize like how fast you really are going until you have to start slowing down before the corner. So corners are definite orange stage. We don't know exactly what's around this corner. It's a blind corner, but he's doing okay. Break, break, break. We got a little bit of slippage. You start to slide a little fishtail. That means that rear tire is locking up and starting to slide across the ground. And thankfully, he's able to keep it up. So he's not smashing it. He's still just kind of, he's releasing adding releasing adding releasing adding so he's actually doing what he's supposed to be doing now as a smart rider we're supposed to be seeking uh, my voice did crack smart rider <laughs> seeks recognizes and understands this hazardous situation you can't even see around the corner so thankfully no other cars are coming you see how like you have to be thankful for a lot of things especially with these close calls they're uh, they're the factor of no other car coming this isn't the edge of a cliff there's no guardrail right here we have to start thinking of this is luck at this point. You're not going to be as lucky as this. So the one thing we can do and can control <laughs> is our speed. All right, so Dunko, here we go. Side of the vehicle, side of the vehicle is prepped and ready for it. Found an escape. Very good. Now take a quick look. Let's go ahead and take a quick look here. This right here is why we need to be smart riders. Our children, if you are a father, mother, whatever, if you have kids, this is why we're doing this. This is why we're in class right now, making sure that we are prepped and ready so that we can go home to our kids. <sighs> that really brings the reality to it. Let's take another look at this. So we have an orange stage. It's an intersection, kind of. It's a pedestrian intersection, but I don't see any lights. So that means there's no pedestrians, but let's go ahead and see what the other uncommon thing is. Oh, there's that side of the vehicle, not really slowing down, kind of going into that intersection, kind of quick, right? Mm. Uh-uh, that's gonna tell me I need to watch out. He's covering his brakes. Look, you saw that, covering his brakes. Or he at least he grabbed them, but he didn't smash them. So he did pretty good progressive brake pressure. But then what we have to do is find an escape just in case. He is starting to plan his ride. He's planning his ride really well. He's gonna locate the hazard. He's gonna adapt from lane position two to lane position one. He still has all of this right here. And this is what you need to understand with your 360 situational awareness that we talk about in the academy. Anyways, we're moving over. Easily switched over. Did a great job. You saved yourself. Now your kids are going to be able to see you that night. Good job, man. Ooh, can't see nothing because of the sun. It looks like Arizona. Just kidding. Uh, ooh. So it looks like we hit a road surface hazard. Uh, looks like it was an uneven pavement. Once again, we talk about that in the academy. Look, at you can kind of see it right here. Let's take a quick look. There it is, that line. Uneven pavement. No buenos. You want to go over it as perpendicular as possible, but not inside of it, okay? Uh, Wear full gear. So as a smart rider, that's what we're doing here. Here we go, Marcio Mola lane filtering. We got side of the vehicle, side of a pedestrian. Ooh. Yep. An impact would have easily fractured something in the elderly. Great job with the progressive brake pressure. That was a red stage. He did not panic and smash the brake into a panic brake, which typically happens in something like this. When you're lane filtering, you have to be planning your ride really well. You never know, okay? All right, here we go. Boost. All right, doing some wheelies. Not in an area I would be doing. This is not really smart. We got lots of hazards, like this truck stopping right here. Boink. Ooh, what kind of impact do we have? What kind of mechanism of injury do we have right here? Okay. Okay, looks like he's not going to be super duper hurt, but look at that wheel. That's a no bueno. He pulled that out of there. He pulled that bumper. All right. So here's the major thing here is that when we're out riding, we need to be situationally aware. We need to be smart riders. Okay, that's the first one. We have to be doing what we need to do, what we want to do in an area that is safe to do so. This is not an area safe to do so. I get it. You want to do wheelies out in public. This is why you do it. This is, you know, you get the feel for it. You've been practicing all week. You have the weekend. You're going to show off with your buddies. I get it. I get it. I get it. Maybe right here is not the moment you should be doing it. Simple as that. I don't care. You're an adult. You hurt somebody. It's your responsibility. Boom. Facial impact. Now that right there, let's take a quick look at this. This right here, 
I've had somebody do that, but it was on the side of the vehicle. So somebody did that and hit the side right there above a door on a car. Okay, this was uh, at about 55 miles per hour. This person did not have a full face helmet. They had a three quarter helmet. At the time, I had a three quarter helmet. And guess what? You ever seen Predator? I say this all the time, say it all the time. Their face split right open. Have fun with that airway. They did not survive. And that right there is why a full face helmet will protect you and hopefully save your life. That just saved his whole face. If you can't, if you don't have anything here, you don't have an airway. If you don't have an airway, you're gonna die in less than eight minutes. You're gonna suffocate, okay? That right there, don't even think about it. When you're doing these wheelies and, you're, and you hit this vehicle, you're like, oh man, my bike, all oh, this sucks. I got insurance now, oh, I gotta deal with the car. No, you're, you're lucky that you even have an airway now. That's the reality. Start thinking of the stuff that doesn't happen, that could have happened, versus the things that did happen. You need to be thankful. You gotta be thankful for it. Got super lucky, super lucky. We have frontal impact injuries to the, the growing area, so have fun with that. You're gonna have a bruised... Uh... Uh, those are medical terms. Ooh, paying attention, paying attention. Got a little bit of... <laughs> That's fine, a little mistake, a little mistake. Let's talk about that real quick. Here we go. So he's looking back, not paying attention. This is why we need to stay staggered. This is why you need to be positioned for safety. The person with the camera's positioned for safety. If they weren't paying attention, look how much room they have to not pay attention in. This person did not have a lot of room because he wasn't positioned for safety. Plan it out. Whatever recommended tracheotomy, it is outside of my scope of practice. I'm sorry. I wouldn't do it. All right, here we go. Lane filtering, no gear. Watch out for anybody coming in between like that. Ooh, that was a little bit of a panic. Thankfully did not dump the bike. That's one of the situations where they panicked, the panic broke and it didn't dump. There's so many times where somebody does that exact thing, loses traction and falls down. Got very lucky. All right, no gear once again, same person. We're gonna go ahead and merge into here, side of the vehicles. We're merging, remember? Okay, you can't just take things. Law of gross tonnage, they're gonna win. They're gonna win and they're gonna win. You are the bottom of the of the totem pole when you're out on the road. All right, here we go. Side stand is down. Right. Oh, their side stand wasn't. So they dropped the bike. All right. Uh, they're all right. It's just embarrassing, and, and you're worried. I get it. Oh, she's so nervous about it. Put the side stand down. It's okay. There you go. You got it. It's okay. That's what the sliders are for. Got a little bit of scrapage. Not a big deal. Okay, you did fine, you did fine. It's a beginner mistake. Mistakes you learn from, mistakes you learn from. Yep, they did their job. You're good. They did their job. All right, here we go, Rembo USMC, always a smart rider, no blinker past truck. So we're in the blind spot a little bit, but we have enough of a position for safety to handle that. Full gear, Rembo, did a great job, smart rider. Recognize that situation, maintain fundamental skills by not panic braking. He's got full gear on. He's definitely teaching and mentoring us right now. 